me feel because you could be, you know, a double good, zero yeah. and feel terrible about how you fit. So it does. And you could, on the flip side, you could be, you know, size, I don't know, 60, and you could also feel terrible. So it is all about things that you eat and how you feel bottom line. Yeah. But thank you but, so much. Of course thank you're you. doing great, Julie. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's, uh, someone's it's, asking it's, about the journal, but Jess is asking, can you share the Jess, name of the journal? Yes. Oh, yeah. Jessa, I'll post it. I'll I post have, it on Rachel. I have extra journals. Amazon. Jessa, I, I'll save you. I'll save you. No, what? it's an Amazon journal. It was like $14. It was great. But you know what? I'm super into That's awesome. <laughs> I'm super into paperweight. It's really thin paper. It feels extremely luxurious. And I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I love yeah. Um, Celine, it's the squared pages. Yeah, the so moleskin of, ones are good too. They're like twenty yeah, bucks. On the moleskin ones are good too, but I don't know. I really like. Um, I really like Honey. having the clothes book. But let's get into yeah, Tori, let's right? get yeah, into no, it. Okay, so I want. So do you want me to intro? Okay, so I, I'll let me tell you guys a little bit about Tori because, <laughs> um, I don't know Tori as personally as Rachel does, and also Rachel and Tori know each other from the MTV The Challenge. <laughs> And I am not tapped into MTV, the challenge, but here's what I am tapped into. I'm into Tori being badass and I'm into her being incredibly ambitious. So when I first heard about Tori, it was all about the show and just like MTV. And I'm so sorry if anyone is on here that loves MTV, but I'm not connected to it at all. So I would like kind of not judge it, but I would kind of be like, oh, Rachel, like, what are you doing? (laughs) So when when we were in the car one day, Tori, and I was listening to you about about your career and your careers, I was like, this girl has it going on. And what I like about you, Tori, is that you have, you are a career driven boss. You've got different streams of revenue coming in from a lot of different places, which is such a new way of creating success for yourself. And when I said to Rachel, Rachel actually said to me, should we have Tori on? And then I really came to you the next day and I, and I thought about it and I was like, you absolutely need to, because you are incredibly ambitious from a few different sources. And we want to tap into that, you know, how you maintain, how you create your ambition, how you maintain your ambition. Um, and it's not even about what you do exactly. It's just about how you lead a consistent life to achieve the type of success that you've achieved. And Aww. that's really why you're here to sort of share. I think it's the perfect like time again, we're right snap, smack in the middle of the challenge. And this is really understanding that this is truly a lifestyle and something that we need to continue these like thoughts and ideas and behaviors even after the 30 days are done, right? Because it doesn't just happen in 30 days. Yeah. So well, thank yeah. you. Nat. Thank you for oh such God. a lovely intro. Yeah, no, it's our pleasure. First and foremost, I'm so honored to be here. Like, thank you guys so much for letting me come in here and speak. I know how loyal you guys are to the Rachel fitness community. Rachel's like so impactful and that's absolutely incredible. Like both of you individually have been too people who have just opened your arms to me since moving to Miami. So thank you for everything that you've done for me personally. And I'm honored to, to be here with this group of people. And, you know, I just hopped out of another meeting right now because I'm currently in the works of literally working on a layout for a new book that I'm writing right now in this moment. And I think that what I've realized in life in terms of just being ambitious is truly like everything in nature, we have to have the seasons within ourselves because it's not like I'm go, go, go every single day. That is absurd. You know, for the last 10 weeks, have I been working on a project and absolutely dedicated it? Yes. Have I felt alive from it? For sure. But have there been months and years that have gone by where I've put things down and not touched them because it didn't feel right? Yeah. I think with creativity and projects, when you're a creative individual, the most important thing you can do is like do what feels right for you, but also finish what you start. Like if I say I'm going to, if I say I'm going to do a project and I'm going to put out a book, let me commit to it. Let me pull on some people who I feel like are going to work with me in this field and really collaborate with me in a really productive way. So like Rachel says, like when you work out with somebody, you know, get your workout buddy so you can have accountability. Doing the same thing in business is great. And obviously I'm not sure what every profession, profession everybody has in here, but as a creator, it's really important to stay on like that because you can fall behind. So what I would say is like the most important thing is number one, always like, or at least what I do is I, I lead with the things that feel like 
fuel my soul. Like I want to be able to look back on my life and be like, you know what? I wanted to write a kid's book. So I did it. Or I wanted to write a poetry book. So I did it. I don't care how it's going to be perceived. I don't care if people are going to like it. I want to be able to look back and do it. And so how many of those projects can I fit in a year? Or can I fit in one? Can I get in half of one if it's taking me longer than I would have expected? But ultimately start like finding the goal that fuels my heart the most, like sets my heart on fire and just creating a community around it to continue it. Mm -hmm. And, and also jumping around and having fun with it, like switching from a poetry book to music, to um, a kid's book, to a podcast, like whatever I want to do, let me play. The world is my sandbox. Yeah. Do you have people that help you stay on track or like, because I know you collaborate on your books with mm-hmm. Vera, right? Is that her name? I just started yep, following Vera, yeah. her now. Mm-hmm. Um, but is there, because you have so many different projects, like you don't, you you yes. do the podcast for MTV. Mm-hmm. For those of you that don't know Tori, she also does, you know, she writes books, obviously, and her children's book, which we should put a link up on here, because if you do, guys do have young kids, I'm telling you, this is truly my kid's favorite book. <laughs> yeah. um, the Search for <sighs> Syrup is what it's called. You obviously go away for months at a time to film challenges. And it's very rare that you're not there the entire time, Tori. So, you know, you're gone for about two months. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things that you're doing. So is there a way that you stay on track or, you know, I can, it- yeah, Tell me. I, de- I mean, listen, like it, no one's perfect. And it's like with anything, right. You were saying it, Rachel yesterday about your fitness, like people look to you as like a fitness God. And you're like, no, even I have my days where I'm like, yeah. and I think it's the same thing with work. So, yeah. and projects like this. And so I do my best to kind of, if I know I have a show coming, obviously I'm going to go back and reverse engineer. Okay. How much work do I need to have done by this point? And what things do I need them done by, but also yeah. recognizing like I said, working, work, finding a partner to work on a specific project with has really been important for me in everything I do because I realize the skill sets I bring to the table and project management, believe me, is not actually one of them. <laughs> like my my partner Vera and I who work together is so skilled at that. And so we've really relied on each other Ooh. and been able to create projects because she brings one of those incredible skill sets and I bring other skill sets. And so like, I would say I, I benefit obviously or I I would give a lot of credit to my collaboration experience and being good at working with other people. That's gotten me so far. I would love to sit here and say, I take all the credit. All I can say is that like my drive for wanting to do things and live out my dreams has been able to be fueled by people who also want to have dreams that are like that also come to life. So you have that energy too, Tori, which is something I've always liked about you. And one of the things I've looked to you as like inspiration, you genuinely are someone who's happy for people. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Quality. For people's success, for people's whatever it is. It's like, you can tell that you, you, you have that. And it's, it's honestly special. It's probably why you do get so far in the projects that you do commit yourself to, because people want to help you and be a part of your success as well. Um, well, I wanted to ask, I think if you also, if you circle back to, you know, Rachel fitness workout is that the genuine connect, the genuine, the being genuine in your feelings towards what you are doing is going to help you also see the results. Like I think Tori, for you, the fact that you are so that the happiness really comes naturally to you and that you believe in it so much is the reason why you are so successful well, at what you are doing you for sure. So I think that the more we look at ourselves as, um, as doing great work, you were, you know, great job, Nat, you know, you did 20 minutes of Rachel fitness today, like great job, you know, great job on legs today will propel us to get into the workout the next day. And then what happens is, is that when you look better, genuinely, because you've got better blood flow, you can see it with your energy, you will attract that energy because people are like, hey, you look amazing. Like, or you just seem amazing and good energy attracts good energy. And it's really what helps you remain consistent and stay on the path, right? To get your goals, to get you where you want to go, to write more books, to get, you know, to achieve, the strength that you want to as well. I think that's like super important. 
Yeah, absolutely. And Tori, I want you to tell us just like, when do you work out? Because this is like so much about working out. So I want to know because you aren't a morning person, like how do you, how do you schedule it in your day? Like, do you make it at the same time every day or do you just kind of like figure it out? You're like, okay, I'm ready to work out now. I'm going to go get it done. Yeah. I, so I hate waking up early and when working out in the morning, like nothing upsets me more. And when I'm done doing it, I am super proud, like seriously so proud, but in, in the process, I definitely don't want to. So I ease into my morning. Like I'm like, all right, I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to sit outside with my cat and watch her chase lizards for about an hour. And then once the coffee kicks in, I'm going to go to the gym. And then, so maybe it's not the very first thing I do in the morning, but it's definitely definitely something that I'm like, the moment it's out of the way, I'm freeing up my mental space. One of my favorite quotes is that freedom or discipline is freedom, which is something that we don't always correlate because we look at discipline as this like rigid, like, you know, intense thing. Like we have to do this, but the moment it's done, the moment you get your non-negotiable out the way, boom, free, like your whole day now can do whatever I want. So like, once I started to tie that together, I was like, okay, I just, I work out five days a week, six days. If Rachel says, let's do a Barry's and you know, on my seventh day, I'm still getting in my 10,000 steps. So it's like, you know, I think it's just about getting the non-negotiables out to free up your mind. But yes, I work out as much as I possibly can. And I have truly, like, I loved what you said on my podcast, like picking out an outfit, going to the gym and like liking how you do your makeup, like feeling cool, feeling hot when you're there. And then like putting in your headphones and racing the person next to you on the treadmill, like getting into the zone and playing around with it, not making working out seem like a task, but more of a place where you get to, you know, feel like it's recess. And so I've tapped into that a lot more since I've been more committed. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, so you basically do do it though. It's may not be the morning time, but it is one of the things you do first like one of the first things you do in your morning, you know, unless, unless I really push it back to the end of the day, but I still get it done. But I think that it's regardless of the time of day you're working out, Tori, you said something really important that you make it a non-negotiable. Like it's something that is so important to the health and wealth of your life that it becomes a non-negotiable. So whenever you get there, so sometimes, yeah, we need an alarm to, you know, motivate us to work out at 630 at night because we'll push it. So just those little things that you can do to remind yourself how important what you want in your life is, whether it's making a list, whether it's setting an alarm, whether it's just calling it a non-negotiable and getting it done is what is keeping you on your path to success and almost like not letting yourself it's so important to rest. And I, that's one of the things I love about the Rachel fitness workout is the rest days, the two rest days a week, <laughs> but it is actually, um, it, it is actually like it, it is getting it done, you know, and, and making it happen for yourself because the yeah. more you do it, I, I truly believe like the more results you'll see, the better that you'll get. Absolutely. And also, have you ever heard the phrase, like, or the quote, like, you're, there's never been a workout that I've regretted. Yeah, yeah, totally. I love that. And it's just the truth. I love like, that quote. Yeah. Have I ever regretted like sitting at home, eating a bunch of food and watching Netflix? Definitely. You know, I've yeah. definitely felt, you know, or like a night of crazy partying for sure, but not a workout. <laughs> I've always loved that. So you hate it before, but you love it after. Oh my God. Absolutely. I want to ask. Any, any, yeah. No, ahead. I want to ask everyone if yeah. you guys have any questions for yeah. Tori because she is on and I know maybe some of you are meeting her for the or first time. Or want to share tonight. anything, you or, know? Yeah, or if you want to say anything, because, you know, you can put a hand up. You can ask Tori anything you want. She's uh, happy to answer anything. Does anybody have any questions or no? Come on, Doreen. <laughs> um, all right. Well, listen, I can keep I can keep asking questions. But, yeah, I just think, you know, both. I think the main message tonight is that setting yourself up for success, whatever that looks like, whether it be writing lists, whether it be, you know, making sure that you're, you're, I do think snoozing too long is something that can be counterproductive. Uh, We talked about that a little Tori, but like just kind of once your alarm goes off, getting out of bed, getting it done. Um, Mm -hmm. one of the major things I know lately is I've been extremely stressed lately. So in my own life, because we are obviously, as I mentioned today on my stories, 
we're putting a pool into our house. And have you ever dealt with someone who just like <laughs> doesn't get back to you? Like that's really, <laughs> it's not. very hard to deal with. But my point is, is that it hasn't stopped me from getting my workout anything, done. Yes. It like, hasn't stopped me from getting my workout done. Like that's the one thing that I know is consistent that I know at the end of my workout, I am that much better because I did it. Mm-hmm. And So I just think everyone has stressors is my point. Everyone has things in their life that's going to try and send them off course, whether it be whatever it is in your life. And I truly believe that getting your workout done, sweating, strength training, Mm -hmm. you know, all of this is going to set you up for a better result, whether, you know, time will go by, right? Everything will eventually work itself out the way it's meant to go. Um, but we can't agree that everyone's going to feel better after a workout. So that's Mm -hmm. just one thing I wanted to point out because I think that I'm not, as you guys know, for three years that have been working out for me, I I'm always happy and I'm still happy, but lately life has just been stressful. So I am practicing what I preach right now is my point. I'm not letting it throw me off. And to, to be honest with you, the better together is keeping me even more consistent and more on top of my game because I'm like, I, I'm, we are doing this together, you know? So I want you guys to feel like that, you know, you know, Glenna, I want you to feel like that Glenna. All right. Cause I see you listening. Mm-hmm. Um, and Wendy, <laughs> I see you too, Wendy, you're chilling, but I see you Wendy. Okay. So <laughs> if anybody like has anything they want to say, anything they want to ask, whether it be to Tori, to Natalie, to myself, um, you know, ask away if anybody wants to add anything to the way they're feeling at this point in the challenge. If anybody feels a certain way or wants to request anything, because we got van week coming up next week. Um, I how everybody's talking a little bit about how they adapt the workouts or their wellness for them. Like if you're not a morning person, I'm not the best morning person, but like, maybe that means I'm going to get on the treadmill at 6 PM or even 8 PM. Like whatever it is, like, it's just about getting that accomplishment done. Yes. It feels better in the morning, but it's not a wash if you can't make that happen at that time. And we're still, you know, making our best efforts and just adapting it for what works. Sometimes it's 15 minutes, like 15 minutes is better than nothing or doing it at lunch, you know? So I think it's, I, I, I mean, love, I mean, I mean Beth, that call me five 30, you know, well, Beth, like, is it, first of all, let me tell you something. Of course, that's how Beth, Beth makes it work for her. Teacher, yeah. And yeah. she gets it done. But, you know, I love, she- I love the, the lunchtime like workouts. I yeah. think it's like the smartest thing ever because it just gives you that like immediate lunchtime pick me up. And again, the Rachel fitness workout, as we all know, we're all here together doing the workouts, 30 minutes, expertly designed strength training workouts. You know, I'm a newbie to Rachel fitness, so I don't pick up the exact weights that she calls for. I make it work and adapt for me and my lifestyle as well as Celine said. So I think that's, just a really smart point as well, Celine, you know, um, Irene, yeah, like use your lunchtime to get on your walks, like getting up within your day to just even walk for 10 minutes, parking a little bit farther, walking there, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, you know, little calling things- a friend, like calling someone while you're on your walk, it t- passes the time, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. is, I think is really the best, but I, I respect that a lot, Celine. Like, I think it is just about, um, walking around your classroom, like exactly getting up after dinner, walking around, you know, Rachel and I really should be walking right now on the zoom. We're sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say that when I do the, the, the pre-recorded stuff, cause you know, sometimes for those of you who don't know, but sometimes we do like throwback week or whatever it is. And I do let myself sleep in on those days because obviously I, those days I will. And I love the convenience of putting on my computer outside in my yard at any time I want. And for 30 minutes, I don't have to think. I just follow the workout. And sometimes I'm even saying to myself, how is this girl still going? Like, what is going on right now? You know, like I even say that to myself and I'm like, oh yeah, that's you, you know? But (laughs) the point is, is that it's just the convenience of it. So really it doesn't matter when you do it, putting on the workout on your computer or on your phone or on your iPad and for 30 minutes just checking out and getting it done is so simple. That's what I'm trying to stress. This is so simple. We all truly do have 30 minutes a day to get this done, you know? So I don't really care. Like, I know we've been talking a lot about the mornings because that's obviously when I work out and I go live, 
but this workout isn't even designed to be done in the morning. It doesn't have to be done in the morning. So you guys can do this at any time in your day, you know? So I just want to stress that because obviously that is the convenience of having access to the workout at any time you want. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Unless somebody has something else to say, I just want to thank Natalie, of course, and Tori. Tori, you know, Natalie, you guys are both, such, you know, leading by example, strong women who really are just powerhouse. Well, you know, I really do. I think there's nothing separating any of us from getting what we want and achieving what we want. I think it really just comes down to putting one foot in front of the other, cutting the noise. There's so much noise out there, you know, in terms of um, getting in, getting in our heads a lot. And I think we just have to, you know, we all have to focus on what it is that's going to help us get to that next step. And because this isn't hard work, it is smart work. And sometimes it's like, it's easier to step away, but really the hard, like the hard work, getting the workout, accomplishing that is smart work. You know, when we really think about it, we take away those negative connotations. I get the opportunity to work out. I get the opportunity to move my body it's 30 minutes, it's expertly designed workouts, it's strength training, like, I'm surrounded by women who are accomplished, intelligent, that know what they want, that are interested in being in a positive environment. That's those are the things that motivate me every day. And I also like not for nothing. But you know, these pictures that I take, like, I also get sick of myself taking them too, but I do them to stay accountable. So it's like, if you need to do that, and if you want to tag the Rachel fitness community, it doesn't it could be of like of your weights, like, share that because those are the small things that help you stay accountable. It's just the consistency time in and time out. And I've had a lot of people that will show up in my DMS, like, you know, you're talking about Rachel too much, or you're doing this. It's, this is, this is because I want to stay consistent. So cut all the noise and show up for yourself because these opportunities are what pushes you forward. Mm -hmm. So that's really, you know, and I just words. had Stephanie ask at the end of the month, do we have access to the videos for a little oh, yeah. while longer? Well, listen, uh, this is actually something I want to mention. And I actually almost forgot to mention yes. it. Uh, yesterday, I did launch a month, um, month only access. So now it's not called Better Together anymore. But it, for one month only, you guys can access, access site. you know, so it's like a one time payment. And you have access for a month. So my advice to you, Stephanie, is if you don't get it done before the Better Together is over, which you should, because if we all signed up at the same time, it's meant to be done, right? Even if you've got to double up or do it on the weekends. But if you don't want to commit to, let's say, signing up for the monthly or the year, then you can just sign up for one more month. And then you get access to everything again, and you'll have plenty of time to finish Better Together. Um, that would be my advice to anyone on here who is falling behind and wants to still finish it. But my up biggest advice is to get it done. So it doesn't matter if that means working out Saturday and Sunday, or if that means, you know, one day, which I've had a lot of people double these workouts, you can do an arm and a chest day on the same day. Um, there's not it's just an hour workout instead of 30 minutes. So you can do things like that. Just so you know, you can play around with this. But, um, and Alicia, yes, I love that I have my West Coaster who does it. Molly too. Yeah. Molly, I saw you, Molly, by the way. I, wanted, I'm at I, the wanted, beach. I wanted to be like, Molly, what's up? What's up, Alicia? <laughs> no, I think it's great. Tori, do you want to share anything too before you? Well, the only other thing that I thought to, I mean, you guys said it all, mic drop, like amazing. But the only other thing that kind of crossed my mind is like, I had posted about this on my podcast. If you do something for 18 minutes a day for a year, in a year's period of time, you'll be better than 90% of the world at it. So if you guys just stay focused for 18 minutes a day, it doesn't sound like it's a big chunk, but it's that consistency that really takes you over the top. And then you're better than 90% of the world in whatever you're, you're specializing in. So, I mean, listen, I'm not saying that like, wow, it's always That's easy to do something day. for 18 minutes a day, but when That's you look at it great. like that, bite size and Rachel fitness workouts are 30 minutes tops, right? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. love so that. It's like add a little drip in there, you know, it's all good, but yeah. And thank you so that much for having great. me. Like I'm going to have to, um, I mean, I feel like I, I got so much energy from this. I need to go work out right now. <laughs> like it's <laughs> the way I'm feeling. Well, but, um, no, thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure. I love that, <laughs> you know, our eight 30, uh, <laughs> Our nighttime routine starts now, Yeah, but that was great. I mean, thank you all for joining and, you know, 
Yeah. Thank you guys. I'll see that you tomorrow morning at yeah. 630. We have arms coming up. Remember, it's going to be two mediums and a resistance band. So it's going to be kind of fun. It won't follow the theme of this week so far. It'll be more like just biceps for a really long time and then just triceps, which anybody who's ever done that knows it gets you sore as shit. So you're <laughs> going to love it. Um, and I think that's it. I just want to thank you guys for coming on. I know that this is 7 p.m. time. I know it's a lot like we kind of, you know, I ask for you, but I really think the connection is there. And Sandra, you know, everyone, Wendy, Julie, Jane, you know, Ju I see you guys all. So it really helps me put names and faces together with the community. And, you know, you guys are the backbones of it. So thank you guys so much. And thank you, Tori, because I really loved the the little you know, facts you shared. I think that's really powerful. Yeah. I'll probably be sharing that tomorrow at 6 30 AM. You know, I'll see my intro talk and I'm going to be like, if you did this workout, eight, <laughs> even if you only do 18 minutes, <laughs> you're going to be 90% better than ever. I'm going to cut her off at 18. I mean, like done. Yeah. All of a sudden 18 minutes is going to roll around and, and now he's going to scream from the background. We're done. It's yeah. 18 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. She'll see me um, putting my shit away. Uh, <laughs> All right, but guys, thank, thank you. you. Have a great so night. Uh, Tori, honey, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're a great host. You. you really should do this for a living or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Back, right. right. Thanks, everyone. Bye, guys. Right. Have a great night. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Go. Thank Bye. you all. Bye, Bye. everyone.